for this first row of my left leaning portion or my left leaning mesh area, I'm gonna do something a little bit special. You know, our left leaning mesh is just the SSK yarn over patterning. Um, but let me show you what would happen if we just started that right away. I would slip, slip, and then knit two together, right? Which is our pattern. But see what's happening? The first stitch of my SSK is growing out of my yarn over. And when I put this pattern together, I really wanted all of my decreases to be in a nice straight chained line, whether they're the knit two togethers on this portion and then to, for them to flow directly into the SSKs of my left leaning portion. And so it's not going to work if they're sort of offset by half, if all of a sudden the decreases start coming out of a yarn over. So to correct that just for this one row, and all this is in your pattern, which is in your class materials, um, just for this one row, I'm gonna do something a little bit special. I've knitted my two edge stitches. I've slipped my marker. I'm going to knit one stitch. I'm going to make a yarn over. So this is almost acting like a pretend SSK, but I only used one stitch. So I've got SSK yarn over, and now I can work my pattern all the way down. So I've just got SSK, yarn over, SSK, yarn over, SSK, yarn over. And then I've got kind of a funny situation here. Oh, even though my marker is in the wrong place, my marker should be between my, delineating my last two stitches. So I've just put it in the right place there. Um, so I've got a funny situation because I finished up sort of the repeats of my two stitch repeat, right? I've got my SSK and I've got my yarn over and I've only got one stitch left. It's not enough to make a full SSK with and it's not enough to, I mean, I can't just make a random yarn over there. Um, so what I need to do, and this makes perfect sense, right? Because we've got at the beginning of our row, we had that one stitch that we knitted kind of throwing off the balance of where we're putting our two stitch repeat. So to get rid of that extra stitch, I'm going to slip that stitch to my right needle. I'm going to take my marker out for a moment. I'm just going to slip that back to my left needle, replace my marker, making sure to keep my yarn over stationary, even holding it with my finger in place if I need to, to make sure that it stays on my needle. These kinds of situations where you have sort of a dangling yarn over are really easy places to lose a yarn over. So just hold your finger there to keep it in place. And then on this row only, I'm going to SS and K, the first two stitches of the three stitches that were on my needle. And so when I knit my last stitch of my garter stitch edging, I've got two stitches again. So see what we've actually done here? When we didn't make an SSK or a decrease up here at the very beginning of our row, what we did was we did not remove one stitch that needed to be removed from the row. So instead we did that down here. So you see how lace kind of works together. You've always got increases and decreases. And if you don't decrease somewhere, you need to decrease elsewhere to make sure that your pattern is going to work the way that, it, that it's supposed to. And in this case, we did that deliberately. That was a deliberate choice in order to make our decreases and our yarn overs fall where we wanted them to.